Come also. Come. I feel the speed. Come. I feel the speed. Oh. I won't go to anoint you. I'm praying for you guys here. I'm, I feel the speed. Hey, come on. Where is your wife, sir? At home. Why you didn't come with her? Can you? Why you didn't come with her? She, uh, she was burying her cousin sister last night, yesterday. Huh? She did? She was burying her cousin sister yesterday. I can't hear what you say. Uh, she was name. burying her cousin sister yesterday. Listen, if you are here, you people, I'm expecting you to have a great testimony. Amen. to use you with your wife. These people who are talking about you in a bad way, they must surrender in Jesus' name. They must surrender these people. They say you are not called. You are anointed. Amen. Brother, there is nothing that when I look at you, I'm seeing like a ministry. I'm not seeing anything called ministry. I'm just seeing like you have started a ministry last week. No yeah. progress, no growth, nothing. Yeah, that's correct, uh, man of God. That's correct, man of God. And this... It's bringing you like a joke. People are laughing at you. Yes, that's correct, man that of God. You started the ministry a long time, but they see seen nothing. That's correct, man eh? of God. Yes, that's correct. I yes. want to promise you that as God has called you, he'll bring right people to you to support Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because I saw people literally laughing at you. And even... That's there are some people that there's a brother you brought close to you but he has destroyed you this brother by lying around here yeah. <laughs> but i can tell you that even this brother if he doesn't repent he will he, god will hold him accountable so yes. he must come and confess to you yes all the people who left you must come back to you <laughs> thank you thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. My name is Mzom Sekiala. I'm, I'm from Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape. Uh, I would like to confirm what the men of God have said. It is correct that some people are laughing at me. I want it to be true, to say it is true what she has just said. I confirm everything he has said. It is true. And how are you feeling right now? I, I'm feeling great. That's what I've been, I, I, uh, that's, why, that's why I came here to find out exactly what is happening about my ministry. Amen. There are no people in there. Mm. Yes. There are many pastors out there who are facing the very same situation that you are coming across in life, and some they've lost hope. What can you say to them, sir, as today the man of God has located you, or the Holy Ghost through the man of God? Yes. To all the pastors out there, I recommend that they will come and hear and see what the man of God, Apostle Makaranisa, had said. He will say great things about them. They will tell them exactly what is happening in their lives and in their ministry. I thank you, God. I thank you, Jesus, for everything that's been said here. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Thank you, Jesus. When did you go to the prophet in, in synagogue? Oh, when was it? 20, when did you go? Huh? 2015. Because I will see you there, but you are, you are bothered. You are very much worried. 
in fact, you are just a big courage to say, at least you have seen the man of God, but your expectation. Eh? Yes. You are worrying about the expectation that you went there, you thought he will speak with you mm. and give you direction. Yes. Eh? Yes. So, uh, can I say this to you? That by me, he touched you here. You remember? Yes. By, by what he did to you, it was a good direction. It was a good direction. You understand? Even if he didn't speak with you, you're supposed to believe that he has spoken with you. Okay. You understand? Yes. Yes, God. because it has bothered you a lot. When you come back here, you face a lot of struggle. Mm. Mm. You were questioning, I, I went there, what happened? Yeah? Especially about the land issue. We, yeah? we are supposed to build a church in Swaziland. But there is a struggle it's in the land. It's a serious struggle. Yes. God loves you. You, you. you will see you through. That prayer is waking even now. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. I am coming from Swaziland. Uh, my name is Het from Aba. What the man of God has said is true. Yes. Yes, it's true because I went to Nigeria to see Prophet T.B. Joshua. I think it was 20... 2013, yes, with an issue of the land, I have to build a church in my country, but there is a struggle in the issue of the land. Yes, and he, he, never, said any, he never said anything concerning the land. He just touched me. So it bothered me that uh, the prophet never said any word concerning the land issue. So I am, I am answered, as the apostle said, for him to touch me, he was just giving me direction. Hallelujah. Yes. And the man of God always says that the prayer that you pray in the other churches is also working for you today. That's why the man of God is able to locate you. And today you have been located by the prayer that you have done in scorn. What, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling so excited. I'm feeling at peace. Because this gives me courage that when we pray, God hears us and he answers us. He may not answer us the way we think, but really once we have prayed, God hears and he answers. I'm so happy that my prayers are answered. Yes. And I believe that wound of worry that the man of God has never said anything, it's, it's now healed. It's now healed. <laughs> I'm walking strong with confidence, knowing that the Lord is in control. Hallelujah. What can you say to other pastors out there? I can say to people outside there, let's keep on believing God and uh, let's run with the passion, what God has put in your heart. Run with it, pursue it, do it no matter how much it costs because God is with you and he will make sure what he has put in your heart, it shall come to pass. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. Brother, where is your ministry? Because I'm seeing you struggling a lot, there. Eh? Too okay. much. Too much. You're struggling a lot. I want to pray for you. So I need help. Eh? I need help. What are you doing? Can you put a mic on this brother? I want to deliver him. If I don't deliver him, this spirit, you will think you will go everywhere searching for help. And nobody will help you. What are you doing here? <laughs> huh? Come on. What are you doing to him? Why are you blocking him? <laughs> huh? Why are you blocking him? It's greatness. Huh? Too much greatness. Too much what? Greatness in him. Greatness in him. So you know this man is called. Eh? You know, speak out. You know this man is a great man. And why are you doing all this? Talk. I can't hear you. Fire. Fire all over your body. You know he's great. And why are, what are you still doing in him? I don't want him. You don't want him. Why you don't want him? Huh? Too much light. Too much light. Who are you? 
This man is a prophet. <laughs> because of Jesus. this demon. He's blocking everything. The demon. So too much light on him. <laughs> and he doesn't know you've got this demon. This demon has been struggling with it. Come on. Jesus, mighty name. Jesus, mighty name. It's free, this man. It's free. Uh, rise up, rise up. Brother, what is happening? I don't know, sir. You don't know? That demon of confusion has left you. Amen. You will make it in the ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Um, my name is Past Apostle Ifani Jude Okafo. Uh, I come from Nigeria. And my ministry is in Jimistin. Yeah. Uh, to confirm the prophets, the prophecy given to me by the man of God is true. Because in my ministry, I am struggling a lot. And um, I just feel like God is not doing something. I just feel like not, something is not happening in my ministry. The, the promises of God in my life before I was, even when I was still a child, is not happening the way he promised me. Because I try, I try, it keep, it's like you are not trying harder. So I don't know what has been happening to me, but today I believe there is a demon responsible for that. And that demon has been cast out. Because even as I'm talking to you now, I didn't have worship in my church. Because the rent of the money was short with 1.5, and the landlord locked the church. So I decided to come here and see the man of God. And I'm happy today I've been touched by him. How are you feeling right now? I feel free now. I feel light now. What can you say to the viewers out there? Oh, what I can say is that uh, there is a grace in this house. Yeah, there is a grace in this house. Uh, this is not my first time of coming here. This is my second time of being touched by the man of God. And I have seen the proof. Uh, the first time I came here, I was supposed to move from another, uh, from another venue where I was. Then, but we are struggling that moment we could not even be able to provide the money to pay for a new place but the moment i came here the man of god spoke to me he said to me uh, son i'm seeing you struggling in your ministry but i'm seeing you you want to move out of there the moment you move out of there god is going to change you because even as i'm talking to you your church was locked i say yes I say it was locked I say yes i'm seeing you moving out. in fact before you get home the provision for a new venue is already available so as i'm as, as i'm speaking to you that, that moment, I didn't know where to go. I didn't know where the money would come from. But the moment I get home, members just told me that the money is already complete for the rent. So, and this is another second time of receiving uh, grace. Now, I believe that as I'm going back to my ministry, there is a greatness. Mm. Thank you, sir. Stay Thank you so much. God bless you. You have been praying a lot. Yes, that's true. Uh, yes, yeah, that's true. Why are you praying for God to open your eyes? Uh, I, I want to move with revival. You want to do it? Eh? I want to move with revival. Come. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, be filled. Even you receive the same. What is it? Receive the same.
Stop there. Can you see you people? You never thought you can fall. Now look what you're doing now. Huh? Why will you believe it? the power of God can't touch you this way? <laughs> huh? Check it with me. Check it. Thank you. 